personal. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. All right, Brendan Taylor here. I'm with Jason Maloney. And you got your big fight coming up with uh, Vincent Ashalavio uh, for the WBO title. T talk about it, man. Uh, Ashalavio is one of these strong Filipino punchers. Uh, how do you feel about the matchup? Yeah, it's a great matchup, I think. Um, you know, you're going to have two very hungry fighters coming at it because, uh, you know, it's every fighter's dream to become world champion. This is his first shot. I've had, I've had two in the past, so it, for me, it's going to be third time lucky. Um, but yeah, I think it's stylistically a great matchup. He's, um, yeah, he's, a, he's a good puncher. I've fought quite a few Filipinos throughout my career, and they can all punch. But um, I think my class and my experience will show on the fight night and, and my hunger. I think I'm too determined and too smart for this guy. And um, I believe I'm the best band away in the world at the moment. So I've got to go there and prove that on May 13. And I think you can expect a really good performance. Uh, I've been out here training real hard in Vegas. And uh, I'm in the best shape I've ever been in. And I'm ready to put on an incredible performance. And, Finally, get that world title wrapped around my waist. Yeah, you, you, you've had a long journey to this point. Uh, which fights in the past you feel you've had have prepared you for the fight with uh, Ashalabio? Every fight I've had has you know helped me grow. Um, you know, I've learned a lot from my losses, but I'm a real student of the game. I learn a lot from my wins as well. I've never become complacent. If I win a fight, I don't just pat myself on the back. I go back and watch it and see what I did right and what I did wrong and, and what I can improve on. And I'm always striving to get better and better. And uh, I feel right now I'm in my prime and I'm in, you know, the best form I've ever been in. Uh, I feel like I'm a complete fighter now. I think in the past I've had areas that maybe a few flaws or a few things I need to work on, but now I feel like I'm a real complete fighter. Um, and yeah, I think you're gonna see that on May 13. I think you're gonna see a lot of improvements in my fighting style. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna be too good for this. Team. Okay. Uh, I know, like, uh, you mentioned that you feel you're the best band weight in the world. The division's kind of sorting itself out now because, you know, the monster, in the way, he moved yeah. up. Uh, what do you feel separates you from the other band and weights? Yeah, it's an exciting time. Now he's moved on and cleared the, vi the division. You know, the, uh, the door is open for someone to come through and become the new band and weight king. And that's what my plan is. First thing first is to beat Astralavia and become the WBO world champion. And then set my sights on all the other champions and, and, and beating everyone in the division. And um, I believe I can beat them all, but I've got to go out there and perform on fight night and prove that. But yeah, I believe uh, it's, it, it's an exciting time for the Vandermate division and um, there's some great fights to be had. Uh, but first things first is beating national on the It's also a chance to uh, become the next Australian world champion. You guys have been in a, the country as a whole, and boxing wise, has been in a great run of form. Yeah. Uh, talk about that. How, how do you feel about the rise, I guess, of Australian boxing? Yeah, it's super exciting. And, um, yeah, it's something that's always been important to me and my brother is to to help grow the sport in Australia. Boxing's not a big, big sport in Australia, but it's starting to grow and everyone's starting to get excited and everyone's starting to follow the sport because they're seeing the success that we're having. And, you know, with Cambosis and Zoo and me and my brother, you know. Sky all, Nicholson, you know. Sky Nicholson, you know, you know, there's a lot of, you know, there's uh, two female world champions. Liam Porro. Liam Porro, you've got, you got Jaya Patea, we've got, we got lots of good fighters coming through and a lot of fighters that are either champions or right on that cusp of becoming champion. And, um, it's a super exciting time, and if me and my brother can both go back to Australia with two world titles Be special. in four weeks' time, it's going to help grow the sport even more. And people are going to start to take note and go, well, you know, these Australians can fight. And, uh, and it's an exciting thing, and, and you know, we're starting to get the respect that I think we deserve. No, absolutely. I, I, I like the odds because you guys always come to fight. Um, but you mentioned your brother. He's got a big fight with uh, Junta Nakatani. Uh, how do you see that fight stylistically? Yeah, it's very exciting. Um, you know, a massive opportunity opportunity for him to become world champion just one week after I become world champion and on a show like you know like Haney Lomachenko a massive platform it's a huge opportunity and uh, I'm watching Andrew every day and he's hungry and he's working real hard and um, they're putting, the, putting together a good game plan he's been sparring really well and uh, I think he can do this he can beat this guy and um, it's going to be an incredible story to see us both become world champions only one week apart no, it'd be, be pretty awesome if it, if it happens, what's happening best, best luck to you guys but uh, last thing I'll let you go uh, I wanted to pick your brain we mentioned Inouye earlier what, what do you think about the fight with him and uh, Fulton that's going to be happening uh, in July yeah great fight it's the sort of fight that everyone wants you know the best fight and the best and for him to go up to 122 and straight away take on the number one in the division uh, it's exciting and um, I think the Fulton will test him he's never really fought a fighter like Fulton but 
I just think Anil is too good, and I think he'll clear out 122 pretty quick as well. I think he'll beat Fulton and then, you know, beat Tapales and become undisputed at 122 pretty quickly. So, yeah, I think Anil is a pretty special fighter, and, he, and I think he'll show that. Yeah, well, I remember when you, when, when you fought him, um, what, what would you say, like, is uh, the best quality he has in the ring that maybe people can't see from the outside looking in? Yeah, I mean, everyone can see how explosive he is with his speed and his power, but he's, he's the full package. He's very hard to land on. He's great with his distance, really fast with his legs the way he goes out of distance and makes you miss. You can't get close to him or put him where you want him. And then when you think you're in a safe zone, he'll just close and jump on you in the, in the split second. And very hard, very hard to keep him off you or to, or to attack him the way you want to attack him. So he's very good with his feet, which I think is underrated, but he's a smart fighter and backs his power and takes a lot of guys out. So yeah, it's exciting. Um, it is a fight I love again in the future, but yeah, yeah. right now uh, I think it's exciting to see what he can do at 122 and exciting to see what I can do at 182. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's good for boxing that uh, guys like him, and as well as yourself, are taking on these big, these big, these big challenges, you know, because sometimes guys like to duck and avoid, and that's right. we need that's, that in boxing. That's something that, uh, that I, you know, I'm a boxing fan as well as a fighter, and I want to see the best fight the best. And I've never ducked or dodged anyone in my life. I, Every single fight, whoever they throw the name at me, yep, I'll fight. You're yes, man. The same with the same with Anui, You know, I believe in myself. I want the hard challenges. If someone thinks I can't beat them, I want to prove them wrong. So, and I think that's the mentality a fighter should have: fight everyone, prove you're the best, and um, that's what the fans want. It's great to see these fights, like you know, Tanky Garcia and Haney and Lomachenko, the best fight in the best. That's what everyone wants to see. Okay. Well, I don't want I don't want, I want to hold you up too much longer, Jason. But uh, any final message you want to give to the boxing world about your fight coming up with Asha? Yeah, just tune in on May 13. I think you're going to see an incredible performance and finally see me achieve my dream. So um, I appreciate everyone's support and um, yeah, tune in and you'll see a great fight. All right, Jason Maloney, a true warrior of the sport. Thank you. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.